Okay. So looking at the last pack day of your last handout of your package, we're looking at questions like this. Now we talked about what a function was. A function using f at x. Um, instead of writing y, we use the idea of f at x. Okay. So we talked about that. We talked about replacing y with f at x, and the idea is that instead of writing y, we write f at x. So what we're going to call f at x here is this particular graph right here. This graph is called f at x. We don't worry about the equation. We're just given the graph. Well, from the graph, you're asked to find f at 1. That means that when x is 1, what is the y value? When x is 1, this is 1, by the way, the y value is going to be 3. Now, f at 1 is 3, and then we did f at negative 4.5. When we look over here, negative 4.5, this way, negative 4.5. We go up. What is the y value? The y value is, let's just check this out, negative 4.5. This value coming across here, the y value is 2.5. And that's literally what you have to do for this part of the problem. Now, the next part of the page, find all values of x such that, we need to find these values. Let's find f at x is equal to 5. Well, that means that when y is 5, what's the, y, what's the x value? When the y is 5, what's the x value? That's what this is saying. When y is 5, what is the x value that goes inside here? Well, that x value is going to be 0, and it's going to be at, I believe, Somewhere around 7, 0 and 7.5. Let's check that out again, just so that you understand how to approach this question. So when y is 5, x is 0, and we follow the line going across, we look down, and that number is 7.5. So that's why the values, when y is 5, the x values are 0 and 7.5. Now let's try a little bit harder, more than just what's here. What happens if I ask you to find f at x when the y is, oh, let's say 3. What are the x values? When y is 3, what are the x values? So we're going to look at the graph again. Look at the graph again. When the y is 3, what is the x value? So we have this one. We have this one, and if you look way before that, we have one that's all the way across here. What does this mean? Well, it's every number from negative 4 all the way up to 2. What does that mean for us? What's well, every number inside here? Can we list all the numbers in here? No, we can't, folks, because there are... Millions upon millions. In fact, there are an infinite number of numbers between here. So we have to write that statement down. So let's see. X is equal to what numbers? Well, we know that the numbers are going to be for sure. This one, which is 1. This one over here, which is 5.5. .5. We know it's those numbers. So 5.5. .5. We know it's 1. So I went backwards here. But what's more important, what also is important is this whole value from here to here. And that is all the values of x from and including the lowest, so it's x is greater than or equal to negative 3, I believe, negative 4, sorry, negative 4 to negative 2. So all the numbers from negative 4 to negative 2, that's these numbers here. That's all the values. So that's a tricky one here. And oftentimes a question like this might be like a bonus or it might be like an inquiry type question because it really does stretch your thinking to think about what is expected. All right. Now, these are the answers to the page. If you're trying to look for different values, I'll just write all your answers out. It really is a good idea for you to understand why there's all these values. If not, you can always come and see me. All right, now, next set of pages are going to be the handouts. The handouts that I gave you and the answers to those handouts. So let's look at, this is page one. You may need to stop this video because I will go through these quickly 
This is one of the pages of homework that I assigned you, another page of the homework that I assigned you with the solutions, another page of the homework 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 with the solutions, and finally these, and one more, these. Now remember, you can always rewind and go th pause the video so that you can copy the solutions down. All right, folks, have a numerical day. That would be great. Take care. Have a numerical day.